Hello everyone, in this video I will start designing a quantizer for my Eurorack. This is a module that I have wanted for a long time and I have been very close to buying a module but now I have made up my mind and I have decided to design one from scratch myself. Okay, so what is a quantizer? Well, Wikipedia isn't really helping us much here to explain what it's all about. But in music theory, quantization can mean that the timing of a note is adjusted to be placed on a grid. Like a drum sound in a door or a drum machine. In Eurorack, it's more common to use quantization to adjust a continuous analog CV signal to pitch CV that conforms to the 1 volt per octave standard. Think of it as an auto-tune for your oscillators. So how does it work then? Most quantizers are microcontroller based and they consist of an ADC that converts the CV input voltage to a numerical value. This value is processed by the microcontroller and it calculates a pitch depending on root note, scale and other parameters that you may program or feed to the quantizer using other CV input signals. Finally, the pitch value is sent to a DAC that converts it back to voltage again. This voltage output is connected to the 1 volt per octave input of your oscillator. This doesn't sound so difficult, so what are the challenges? The complexity of the microcontroller software depends a bit on how ambitious you are in implementing different scales and other features. But the part of the design that needs to be the most accurate is the DAC, because we will use that to control our oscillator pitch. And we want to control that with great accuracy. Let's assume that we have an output voltage range of 0 to 8 volt to give us a span of 8 octaves. With 1 volt per octave, 1 cent equals 0 0.84 millivolt. So that is the resolution that we are aiming for. As you can see in the table, the 8-bit resolution isn't good enough. 12 bits are kind of okay, but to be able to calibrate the DAC within plus minus 1 cent, you will need 14 or 16 bits. The DAC doesn't have to be especially fast, but it has to have good resolution. Now a 16-bit DAC isn't cheap, and if you want to have more than one channel, it's starting to get really expensive. But there are ways around this that will give you decent results without breaking the bank. You can use the PVM peripherals in your microcontroller and connect a low pass filter to produce an output voltage. For this project I will use the Raspberry Pi Pico and this little beast have 16 individually programmable PVM outputs with 16 bit resolution. So at first glance it seems that we have solved this issue just like that. Okay. But there are a couple of more things to take into consideration. The PVM peripheral consists of a counter that is clocked at a given speed. The output of the counter is connected to a programmable comparator circuit that for example sets the PVM output high if the counter is below the comparator value and low if it's above. So a low comparator value will give a low duty cycle and a high value will give a high PVM duty cycle. The PVM frequency will be set by the resolution of the counter and the clock frequency, so we need to design the low pass filter to filter that out. But we don't want the low pass filter to be too slow, because that will create lag and unwanted glide effect. The Raspberry Pi Pico has an internal clock frequency of 125 MHz for the timer counters, which sounds like a lot. But if you divide that with 65536 to get 16 bit resolution, you will end up at 1.9 kHz, which is not far from where the human hearing has its peak sensitivity. So we would have to filter that tone out like crazy. But there is an interesting article on Open Music Lab's site about the PVM based DAC that will give you 16 bit resolution using two 8 bit PVMs, where one takes care of the upper 8 bits and the other one takes care of the lower 8 bits. The method has been used in many open source projects and it's proven to work very well. The magic lies in the 1 mega ohm and the 3.9 kilo ohm resistors. 1 million divided by 256 equals 3906, which is pretty close to 3.9 kilo ohm. And with the Raspberry Pi Pico, 8 bits PVM will give us a PVM frequency of 488 kilohertz. All right, but what about the ADC? Do I need 16 bits for that too? No, the input CV doesn't need to have super high resolution. 10 or 12 bits will probably be enough, since basically the first thing we do is to convert the voltage into semi-notes according to the chromatic scale and use that for our CV processing. So the internal ADC in the Raspberry Pi Pico will probably work fine here. 
Let's make a quick test on breadboard to see how it behaves. This is a simple configuration with the pot feeding the CV input with a variable voltage. The output is connected to the 1 volt per octave input of an oscillator. The quantizer will output notes in C major scale only. So, it seems that we have the core functionality figured out. So in the next episode I will have a look at the user interface and the rest of the design more in detail. Stay tuned for that, take care, and I see you in the next one. Bye for now.